I've been on the quest for the beginning of the Nepean River and it's brought us to the Southern Highlands here in Robertson. And the Nepean starts up in farmland and believe it or not, this is it here. This river, the Nepean River, is part of the Hawkesbury Nepean catchment. At 470 kilometres, it's the longest coastal river in all of New South Wales. It drains roughly 2.14 million hectares. Camden Council and Penrith City Council are doing their best in their local government areas to take care of our river and we're going to follow it on its journey. This once would have been bushland, now the urban landscape, it's full of things like car parks, roofs and roads. These are all hard surfaces. And what this does is supercharge the situation. It also has a greater ability to lead to erosion. And when we have a lot of rain, more flooding. This is why council is implementing water sensitive urban design. Water sensitive urban design is a more natural approach to managing stormwater in our urban landscapes through things like bioretention basins, rain gardens and wetlands. And the brilliance of a nature-based approach to managing stormwater is it provides habitat for wildlife. It cools our cities through evaporation. It's quite beautiful, which means people love these spaces for recreation and all sorts of social activities. It connects people to nature. Water is integral to our lives. We are magnetically attracted to it. We spend our time in and around water, whether it be for cultural, spiritual or economic reasons. It forms a key part of our existence. This tree here, it's an old casuarina tree and it makes up part of the riparian vegetation. Riparian vegetation are the plants that grow along our water courses and they're really important to the river's health. They take out nutrients. They stabilise the banks, and by doing so, they're helping to maintain water quality. I think it's fantastic seeing these plants, because they kind of act like a highway through the landscape, allowing wildlife, from birds, through to echidnas, reptiles, and all sorts of things, to move where they want to get to, especially in an area that's been cleared or developed. But they do so much more than that. You see, the insects living in these trees also land in the water, and when they do, they become food for the fish. And these plants cast shadows and drop things like branches into the water, both of which create a whole mosaic of different habitat features which are brilliant for the aquatic life under there, from turtles through to fish, eels, and so much more. And council and volunteers are dedicated to providing protection to this ecosystem, either through the removal of noxious weeds or through re-establishing vegetation. It's not just the riparian vegetation though, it's the vegetation, the plants of Western Sydney, the critically endangered Cumberland Plain, which helps to take care of this waterway. Through holding the soil together, taking out nutrients, and making sure this ecosystem functions. And unfortunately, so much of it's disappearing from when I was a child to what it is now. Uh, it's changed so much, but there are still pockets there. And so we've got to preserve what's there and enhance it if we need to. Uh, so it's good quality bush because those little pockets of good quality bush just make such a difference to the animals and plants. The main reason that I got involved in bush care, I live locally. I spend a lot of time along the uh, walking path along the river. I thought it was a, a, an excellent way to uh, get involved with the local community and do something that I enjoy as well. You meet all your neighbours. You don't talk to them when you're at home, but you come down here and you meet all your neighbours. A few of us come down, do a bit of weeding, do a bit of planting. We can all enjoy it. Be with nature, observe what's going on here, and it's lovely. I really think that all kids should be doing bush care and learning about their environment and how to care for it. One, two, three, four, five. You know, if we don't have volunteers, then we don't have this beautiful habitat for, for animals and we don't have this beautiful environment for the future. From locals to tourists, lots of people love and appreciate the Nepean River. It's really important that we take care of its health. And for this reason, both councils do water quality monitoring and testing. By doing this, it allows people to make an informed decision 
on just how they want to use the river. And it's really important that we're mindful of what we do around our homes because whatever goes down the drain eventually ends up in our river. <laughs> That's a great Sydney rock oyster. And to think the water that got filtered through this oyster started its journey all the way at Robertson. It's incredible. I'm here at Patonga. That's the Hawkesbury River, and that's the Pacific Ocean. Camden Council and Penrith City Council, councils along this whole catchment and agencies are dedicated to taking care of this waterway through water intensive urban design, water testing, and riparian restoration are doing a brilliant job of looking after water. But it's up to all of us to take care of this waterway. 